so we will solve the problems on uh, relative position of two circles okay so the first problem is show that the circles x square plus y square minus 6x minus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0 and x square plus y square plus 2x minus 8y plus 13 is equal to 0 touch each other find the point of contact and equation of common tangent at their point of contact see here we have to find out we have to prove that two circles touch each other if two circles touch each other we have two cases one is two circles touch each other externally and the other one is two circles touch each other internally if two circles touch each other externally we have to prove that d is equal to r1 plus r2 suppose if two circles touch each other internally we need to prove d is equal to r1 minus r2 okay we have to check for only two cases okay so we will start the problem so now here two circles are given to us uh, so first equation of circle is first equation of circle is x square plus y square minus 6x minus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0. Now I will find out the center. So what is the center of this first circle? It is 3 comma 1. Okay, it is minus g comma minus f. So it is 3 comma 1. Then after that we will find out the radius. That is r1 of the first circle is under root of g square plus f square minus c. So what is r1 we are getting? r1 is nothing but square root of 9 that is 3. Now after this r1 and c1 we take the second circle equation. So that is x square plus y square plus 2x minus 8y plus 13 is equal to 0. So here we will find out second circle center. So what is C2? It is minus 1 comma 4. And what is R2? It is under root of G square plus F square. G square plus F square minus C. So R2 is equal to, we get under root of 4. Okay, 16 plus 1, 17. 17 minus 13, 4. Under root of 4 is 2. So the value of R2 we got is 2. Now we have R1, R2. Next, we will find out D. What is D? D is the distance between two centers. So, we will find out D. Next is D. D is the distance between two centers. So, D is equal to, just find out the distance. It is x2 minus x1 whole square, x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. It is 1 minus 4 whole square. 1 minus 4 whole square under root. Now we get the value of d. So d is equal to under root of 3 plus 1, 4, 4 square is 16 plus 9. So the value of d is 16 plus 9 is 25, square root of 25 is 5. So d value is 5. So after getting d and r1 and r2, we have two cases to check. Either d is equal to r1 plus r2 or d is equal to r1 minus r2. So, by trial and error, what we do? Just add R1 and R2. What is 3 plus 2? 5. D is also 5. So, clearly, we get D is equal to R1 plus R2. So, what we can say, what, are the, what is the position of two circles? We say, therefore, the two circles, therefore, the two circles touch each other externally. Two circles touch each other externally. Okay, so d is equal to r1 plus r2. Two circles touch each other externally. So we prove that two circles touch each other. After that, we have to find out the point of contact. So okay, so how to find the point of contact? See, now two circles touch each other externally. So, two circles touch each other externally. These are the centers of two circles. 
Okay, these are the centers of two circles. Now here, the point of contact you have to find out. Those two circles are touch are touching each other at one point P. So this P is called the point of contact. This P is nothing but the internal center of similitude. This P is nothing but ICS. How we can say it is ICS because the point of contact lies between the two centers. So we say this is ICS. So now in order to find the point of contact, we need to find ICS. See, I repeat, the point of contact is between the two centers. See, this is the center of second circle and this is the center of first circle. So the point of contact lies between the two centers. Okay, so as it lies between the two centers, the point of contact is nothing but ICS. Suppose if the point of contact is away from the two centers, then we say this is ECS. So here the point of contact is between the two centers, so it is nothing but ICS. So here we find out ICS to get the point of contact. So next is nothing but a point of contact. Point of contact. So what is point of contact? It is R1 x2 plus R2 x1 by R1 plus R2 comma R1 y2 plus R2 y1 by R1 plus R2 is the formula to find point of contact. Now what is R1? R1 is 3. Okay, R1 is 3. So x1, y1, x2, y2 are the centers of two circles. So R1, x2, what is x2? x2 is nothing but minus 1. R1, x2 plus R2, x1, x1 is 3. R2, x1 by R1 plus R2, that is 3 plus 2, it is 5, comma, R1, y2. So what is y2? y2 is nothing but 4 plus r2 y1. What is y1? y1 is nothing but 1 by r1 plus r2. Here x1 y1, x2 y2 are the centers of two circles. r1 and r2 are the radius we substituted. So minus 3 plus 6. minus 3 plus 6 is nothing but 3 by 5 comma then 3 4s are 12 plus 2 12 plus 2 is 14 by 5 so we get 14 by 5 so now we got the point of contact so what is the point of contact we got it is 3 by 5 comma 14 by 5 so first we have to prove two circles touch each other we prove d is equal to r1 plus r2 is completed then we have to find the point of contact the point of contact is nothing but ISIS that also we got after that, we have to find out the equation of common tangent. Okay, so how to find the equation of common tangent? I'll show it here. The equation of common tangent. So, the equation of common tangent of two circles is nothing but s minus s dash is equal to 0. That means just subtract the two circle equations. So I will write what is the first equation. It is x square plus y square minus 6x minus 2y plus 1 and minus of x square plus y square plus 2x then we have minus 8y plus 13 minus 8y plus 13 is equal to 0. Okay. So now we find out the equation of common tangent. Just subtract these two equations. When we are subtracting these two, x square, x square, y square, y square terms get eliminated. So we get minus x minus 2x. Okay. Minus x minus 2x. Then minus 2y plus 8y minus 2y plus 8y plus 1 minus 13 is equal to 0. So now it is minus 8x plus 6y minus 12 is equal to 0. Okay. 
So now we can take minus 2 common. So what is the equation of tangent we get? 4x minus 3y plus 6 is equal to 0 is the equation of common tangent. Okay. So this problem is completed. This is very very important problem. It carries 7 marks. Next problem, similar to this problem, show that the circles x square plus y square minus 6x minus 9y plus 13 is equal to 0, comma x square plus y square minus 2x minus 16y is equal to 0, touch each other, find the point of contact and equation of common tangent. You have to find out the point of contact and equation of common tangent at their point of contact. So here also same thing we do. So first we take the first equation of circle that is x square plus y square minus 6x minus 9y minus 13 is equal to 0. Now here we will find out c1 then r1 and next second equation of circle c2 r2 then we check whether it is d is equal to r1 plus r2 or d is equal to r1 minus r2. So first we will find out the center of the circle c1. What is c1? It is minus half of this and change sign minus g comma minus f so it is 3 comma 9 by 2 is the center of the circle now i will find out the r1 r1 is nothing but under root of g square plus f square that is 9 plus 81 by 4 plus 13 so r1 is equal to under root of we will take lcm for this so it is 36 plus 81 plus 52 by 4. Okay. So now we'll simplify this. So R1 is equal to R1 is equal to 36 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 6 is 9. So once again, so R1 is equal to G square plus F square minus C. So 9 plus 1 36 plus 81. Uh, oh, so once again, see the equation here we have plus 13. So sorry, it is minus C. So we get uh, minus 52 here. So 36 plus 81 minus 52 by 4. So now we will simplify this. Uh, what we get is uh, 6 plus 1 7. Okay. This is 7 and 8 plus 3, 111 minus 52 by 4 with under root, right? So R1 is equal to, so R1 is equal to, what we get is 170 minus 52, we get root 65, root 65 by 2, okay, see root 65 by 4 actually. I am splitting the root. So it is root 65 by 2. So what is R1 we are getting? It is root 65 by 2. Okay. So next is, the next one is we go to the next equation of the circle. So second equation is x square plus y square minus 2x minus 16y is equal to 0. So here also we will find out the center. So what is the center of the circle? It is 1 comma h. Right now we will find out R2 radius is equal to under root of g square plus f square minus c. See we don't have constant here, so it is zero. So R2 is equal to under root of 65. So we have R1, R2. Now we will find out D. So D is the distance between two centers. So what are the two centers? 3 comma 9 by 20, 1 comma 8. We will find out the distance that is under root of 3 minus 1 whole square plus 9 by 2 minus 8 whole square. 9 by 2 minus 8 whole square. So D is equal to, we get 4 plus 9, see if you simplify 8 to the 16, 9 minus 16, 9 minus 16 is 9 minus 16 by 2 whole square under root. So here D is equal to under root of 4 plus 9 minus 16 is minus 7. Minus 7 square is 49 by 4 here. 49 by 4. 
Now, what is D is equal to? It is 16 plus 49 by 4 under root. So, what is D value we are getting? D is equal to 49 plus 16 is root 65 by square root of 4 is 2. So, D is equal to we are getting root 65 by 2. So, we have D. We have R1 and R2. R1 is root 65 by 2. R2 is root 65 and D is root 65 by 2. See now, suppose if you are checking for D is equal to R1 plus R2. So, what is R1? R1 is root 65 and R2 is root 65 by 2. Suppose if I am checking R1 plus R2. Suppose if I am checking from R1 plus R2. You simplify this. We get 2 root 65 plus root 65 is 3 root 65. Which is not equal to D. So we will not go for R1 plus R2. Because see if you are adding R1 plus R2 we are getting 3 root 65. But what is D? It is only root 65. So what we do is we not we, do, we don't go for R1 plus R2. Instead of that what we do we just check for R1 minus R2. Okay, we just check for R1 minus R2. This is R1 minus R2 we are checking. Because as R1 plus R2 is not satisfying, the second case is R1 minus R2. So if you simplify, 2 root 65 minus 65 will become root 65 by 2. See if you take LCM, 2 root 65 minus root 65 is root 65 by 2. So R1 minus R2 is root 65 by 2. And what is D? D is also root 65 by 2. So it is very clear that D is equal to R1 minus R2. So as D is equal to R1 minus R2, we are getting, we say the two circles, the two circles, the two circles touch each other externally. Touch each, sorry, touch each other internally, not externally. The two circles touch each other internally. So here we prove that two circles touch each other internally. So let's we draw that case. Now this is a circle, this is a center and this is one more circle we have. So here two circles touch each other internally. Now when two circles touch each other internally, this is a point of contact. See, this is a point of contact of two circles at which the point is touching. Okay, so this is called the point of contact. So this point of contact is not between the two centers, it is away from the two centers. So you have to find out ECS. So here in this case, the point of contact is ECS, external center of symmetry. So what is ECS? ECS is nothing but R1 x2 minus R2 x1 by R1 minus R2, comma, R1 y2 minus R2 y1 by R1 minus R2 is the ECS. Okay. So we will find out the ECS. So we will find out the ECS. So what is R1? R1 is nothing but root 65 by 2. I am substituting here. It is root 65 by 2. Root 65 by 2. R1 into X2. X1 by 1, X2 by 2 are the centers. So R1 x2 minus r2 r2 x1 what is x1 3 x1 is 3 center of the first circle by r1 minus r2 comma so r1 y2 so r1 is root 65 by 2 root 65 by 2 r1 y2. So what is y2? r1 y2 is h. r1 y2 minus r2 y1. So what is r2 here? r2 is root 65. root 65 minus r2 y1. So what is y1 we have? y1 is nothing but 9 by 2 y1 is nothing but 9 by 2 divided by r1 minus r2 root 65 by 2 minus root 65 see what you do is just you you have the center this is x1 y1 okay this is x1 and y1 x1 y1 is 3 comma 9 by 2 x2 y2 is 1 comma 8 
R1 is nothing but already we have R1 is root 65 by 2, R2 is root 65. Substitute in this ECS. After substituting, what we do is we will simplify. See, if I take root 65 common in the numerator, root 65 common in the denominator. So after taking root 65 common in numerator and denominator, they get cancelled. So what we do is we write the terms without root 65. That means we get we get 1 by 2, we get 1 by 2, 1 by 2 minus 3 divided by 1 by 2 minus 1. I am taking root 65 by 2 common. So 1 by 2 minus 3 by 1 by 2 minus 1, comma. Here we get 8 by 2 minus 9 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 minus 1. Right? So, we substitute it. After that, we simplify. That is, what is 1 minus 6? See, 1 minus 6. If I take LCM, 1 minus 6 is minus 5. So, we get minus 5 and 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So, I will write minus 1, comma. So, next is 8 minus 9 is minus 1 by 2. That by 2, after taking it, some 2s also get cancelled. So, minus 1 by, what is 1 by 2 minus 1, 1 by 2 minus 1 is minus 1 by 2. So, we get in the denominator also minus 1. Okay. So, what is the point of contact we are getting? The point of contact is nothing but 5 comma 1. This is the point of contact. Okay. So, first we have to prove the two circles touch each other. So, two circles touch each other means two circles touch each other internally or externally. So, here in this case we are getting D is equal to R1 minus R2. So, two circles touch each other internally. If two circles touch each other internally, the point of contact is nothing but ECS. So, after finding ECS, we got phi comma 1. Then after that, we have to find out equation of common tangent. See, how to find equation of common tangent? Equation of common tangent is nothing but S minus S dash is equal to 0. So, here, equation of common tangent. The equation of common tangent is S minus S dash is equal to 0. That means you have to subtract two circles. So, I will subtract the two circles. So, first equation is x square plus y square minus 6x minus 9y plus 13 and minus of what we get is x square plus y square minus 2x minus 16y minus 2x minus 16y is equal to 0. Okay. You just calculate this. You will get the equation of common tangent. How to find equation of common tangent? Just you have to subtract the two given equations. So given equation of circles will get the point of contact. Or we can also they also say that the equation of common tangent is s minus s dash is equal to zero. What is s? It is an equation of first circle. S dash is an equation of second circle. So just subtract these two equations, you will get equation of common tangent. So you just find out equation of common tangent by subtracting these two. So this problem will be completed. So next problem, find the equation of circle which touches the circle x square plus y square minus 2x minus 4y minus 20 is equal to 0 externally at phi comma y with radius phi. So here the given equation of circle will represent we draw one circle. So first I draw a circle. Okay, so this circle is a given circle. What is this circle? x square plus y square minus 2x minus 4 by minus 20. So what is the center of this circle? It is 1 comma 2. The center is 1 comma 2. 1 comma 2. Now we have to find out a circle which touches the given circle externally. That means we need to find out a circle which touches a given circle externally at phi comma phi. It is given that point of contact. What is this point of contact given? Phi comma phi. Externally at phi comma phi. Okay. Whose radius is phi? That means the radius of the required circle is given as phi. 
right? Now we have to find out the equation of a second circle. The circle we have to find out. So to find out the equation of this another circle or second circle, we need center. Okay, we need center. So that center I'll assume as a comma b. Okay, I am assuming the center of the other circle is a comma b. After getting a comma b, we can find out the equation of second circle using x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square. Because when we have center and radius r, if center is a comma b and radius is r, the equation of circle is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square. So first we have to find out a comma b center of the second circle. So to find that what we do, first we write the given equation of circle. So the given equation is x square plus y square minus 2x minus 4y minus 20 is equal to 0. The center. The center of the first circle is 1 comma 2. Okay, the center of first circle is 1 comma 2. Now after this I'll find out the radius of a given circle. So what is R1? R1 is equal to under root of g square plus f square minus c. g square plus f square minus c. Minus 20 is when I substitute plus 20. So R1 is under root of 5 plus 20, 25. Root 25 is 5. So we have R1 now. Now after having R1, just we locate the dot. So this is R1. R1 is 5. And R2 is also 5. Right now, the point of contact is phi comma phi. So, what is this point of contact called? This point of contact is nothing but ICS. Why it is called ICS? This point of contact lies between the two centers. As a point of contact lies between the two centers, this point is called ICS. Okay, here you can use ICS to find out a comma b. Okay, or one more thing is the distance from the C1 to P is 5. Again, the distance from C to P is also 5. That means this point P, phi comma phi, is also called midpoint. You use a midpoint or ICS. You can use midpoint or ICS to get A comma B. Anyone we can use. Either you use midpoint or you use ICS to get A comma B. So what I do is in this problem, I use midpoint to find a comma b. Okay, so we have R1. Right. After that, what I do? I write let the center of the required circle. I am assuming as a comma b. So whenever we are solving these problems, you have to draw this. Okay. Now, what I do is I I find out a comma b. So how to find out that a comma b by using midpoint? So that is x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 this midpoint is nothing but phi comma phi okay so this midpoint is nothing but phi comma phi now what you have to do is this is x1 y1 1 comma 2 is x1 y1 a comma b is x2 by 2 substitute and equate to phi comma phi so what is x1 x1 is nothing but 1 plus x2 what is x2 a 1 plus a by 2 comma and 2 plus b by 2 2 plus b by 2 is equal to 5 comma 5 2 plus b by 2 is equal to 5 comma 5 so now i'll split and i'll calculate this so that means 1 plus a by 2 1 plus a by 2 is equal to 5 and 2 plus b by 2 is equal to 5. Okay, this 5 we have to equate the x coordinate and the other 5 we have to equate the y coordinate. So, 1 plus a is equal to 10, a is equal to 9. 2 plus b is equal to 10, b is equal to a we got. So, now what is the center we got of the required circle? It is 9, comma 8. Now we have the center as 9 comma 8 and the radius is 5. We can find out the equation of circle. The equation of circle is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square 
is equal to r square. So x minus a value is 9 whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r. Radius of second circle is 5. So what is 5 square? It is 25. Now I expand this. It is x square minus 18x plus 21 plus y square minus 16y plus 64. Okay, I expanded this. Is equal to 25, I write as minus 25 is equal to 0. So we will simplify this. So what we get is what we get is nothing but x square plus y square minus 18x minus 16y minus 16y. After that, the constants 81 plus 64. 81 plus 64 is 145. 145 minus 25 is 120 is equal to 0 is the equation of required circle. Okay. So, this is also very very important problem. This carries 7 marks. So, next problem. Find the equation of circle which touches the circle x square plus y square minus 4x plus 6y minus 12 is equal to 0 at minus 1 comma 1 internally with radius 2. So here the circle is touching the required circle internally with radius 2. That means now this is a circle, right? This is a circle. One circle is given to us. Now we have to find out an equation of circle which touches the given circle internally. So we have to find out the circle which touches a given circle internally whose radius is 2. That means the radius of the cir required circle is 2. The radius of the required circle is 2. We have to find out the circle whose radius is 2. So here also we have to find out the center of the required circle. We assume the center of required circle as A comma B. And one more important thing is the point of contact of these two I represent it as P. The point of contact of these two is given as minus 1 comma 1. The point of contact of these two circles is given as minus 1 comma 1. And this minus 1 comma 1 is nothing but ECS. Why it is called ECS? Because this point of contact lies away from the two centers. This point of contact lies away from the two centers. So this is called ECS. So here using ECS, we have to find out the center A comma B. Okay. So first what we do is we write the given equation of circle. So that is x square plus y square minus 4x plus 6y minus 12 is equal to 0. Now what is the center? It is 2 comma minus 3. Right? Now what is R1? Under root of 4 plus 9 plus 12. G square plus f square minus c. So R1 is nothing but 5. So R1 we have 5. So R2 they gave. R2 they gave us 2. Okay. Now what we do is we assume let the center of the required circle as a comma b. We are assuming them as just a comma b. After that, that minus 1 comma 1 is nothing but ECS. So I will write down the form of ECS. R1 x2 minus R2 x1 by R1 minus R2 comma R1 y2 minus R2 y1 by R1 minus R2 is equal to minus 1 comma 1. Okay. So here x1 y1 is 2 comma minus 3. x2 y2 is a comma b. R1 is 5. And what is R2? R2 is nothing but 2. R2 is nothing but 2. Now I'll find out, I'll substitute and I'll find out the center. So, so here R1 x2, so 
R1 x2. What is x2? x2 is nothing but a. R1 x2 minus R2 x1. R2 x1. R2 is 2. x1 is 2. R2 x1. See R2 x1. Why? R1 minus R2. So what is R1 minus R2? 5 minus 2 is 3. Comma. R1 y2. So y2 is B. R1 y2 minus R2 y1. y1 is minus 3. By R1 minus R2. Right? And this is to be equated to this is to be equated to minus 1 comma 1. Just keep it in minus 1 comma 1. So next line what we get is 5a minus 4 by 3 comma 5b plus 6 by 5 is equal to minus 1 comma 1. Now I will split that is 5a minus 4 by 3 is equal to minus 1 and 5b plus 6 by 5 is equal to 1. So 5a minus 4 is equal to minus 3. So 5a is equal to minus 3 plus 4 is 1. A value is 1 by 5. Then we find out B. So 5b plus 6 is equal to 5. 5b is equal to 5 minus 6. So 5 minus 6 is minus 1. So B value is okay, minus 1 by 5. Okay, just again we we'll go through this. We we'll check this one. R1 x2. R1 x2. What is x2? A minus R2 x1. So R2 is 2. And what is x1? It is 2. So this is okay. And Y terms we'll check. Oh, once again. Uh, R1 minus R2 is 3 here. We we'll get 3. And here also we we'll get 3. Okay. So, sorry, this is step 3. E ones are 3. This is 3. And it is minus 3 by 5. We are getting. So, here R1 minus R2 is 3. So, write this 3. So, if I cross multiply, I will get 3. 5B is equal to minus 3. B is equal to minus 3 by 5. Now, what is the center we are getting? Center in this case we get is 1 by 5, comma minus 3 by 5. So, after getting the center, we can find out the equation of the required circle. So, now we find out the equation of circle using this x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square. So, what is a comma b here? 1 by 5 comma minus 3 by 5. I am substituting. So, that is x minus 1 by 5 whole square plus y plus 3 by 5 whole square is equal to r square. r is a center of the radius of the required circle. The radius of required circle is 2. So I have to write 2 square. Okay. Now we will expand this. <coughs> x square minus a square minus 2a. 2x into minus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 25 plus y square minus 6y by 5 plus 9 by 25 minus 4 is equal to 0. We expand it. y square minus 6y by 5 plus 9 by 25 minus 4. So here I take LCM. The LCM is 25. So we get 25 x square minus. See 5 goes 5 times. So 5 twos are 10x. Right? plus 1 plus 25 y square then minus 30 y plus 9 minus 100 is equal to 0. Just you simplify this by taking LCM after expanding. So we get this. Now we rewrite this. We write it in order. So that is first is 25 x square then we write 25 y square then minus 10x minus 30y then constants 1 plus 9 is 10 10 minus 100 10 minus 100 is minus 90 is equal to 0 so clearly we can take 5 common 
So what we get is 5x square plus 5y square minus 2x minus 6y minus 18 is equal to 0. So what is the equation of circle? 5x square plus 5y square minus 2x minus 6y minus 18 is equal to 0 is the required equation of circle. So this is also a very very important problem it carries 7 marks. So whenever you solve this type of problem, so you have to draw the circle, locate the center radius and find out the equation. So this problem is complete. So next problem, this is very very important problem, 7 marks. Find the direct common tangent of the circles x square plus y square plus 22x minus 4y minus 100 is equal to 0 and x square plus y square minus 22x plus 4y plus 100 is equal to 0. So here we have to find out the equation of direct common tangent. So what is direct common tangent? So direct common tangent is nothing but if two circles, if two circles lie on the same side of a tangent then the tangent is a direct common tangent. So here this line is called a direct common tangent. The reason is two circles are on the same side of a tangent. See we can draw one more direct common tangent in this case. Right? So this is one more direct common tangent. Now we need to find out these two direct common tangents. Okay. So before finding these two direct common tangents one more thing what we have to see is this point, this point P, this point P is nothing but the point of intersection of direct common tangents. Now these are the two centers, okay, and that is a point P, the point P is nothing but the tangents, the point which, where the tangent meets. So here the point of contact is away from the two centers, if the point of contact is away from the two centers, this point of contact is called external center of similitude because the point of contact is away from the two centers. So here in order to find the equation of direct common tangent we need to find ECS. Okay. Then after that we will find out the equations of direct common tangent. So first equation we will write. So what is the first equation of circle? It is x square plus y square plus 22x minus 4y minus 100 is equal to 0. Now I will find out the center. So what is the center of the circle? It is minus 11 comma 2. Okay, minus 11 comma 2. What is R1? R1 is under root of b square plus f square minus c. So R1 is 121 plus 4 is 125. 125 plus 100 is 225. Square root of 225 is 15. Right? After that, second equation of circle. I'll write this equation of circle. x square plus y square minus 22x plus 4y plus 100 is equal to 0. Now what is the center of the second circle? It is 11 comma minus 2. Then after that we find out R2. R2 is nothing but under root of G square. 11 square is 121 plus 4 minus 100. So R2 is equal to under root of 121 plus 4 is 125. 125 minus 100 is 25. Okay, what is square root of 25? It is 5. Okay, so 121 plus 4 is 125. 125 minus 100 is 25. Root 25 is 5. So we have R1, R2. This is x1, y1, x2, y2. So we can find out, we can find out ECS. So I'll find out ECS here. So ECS is nothing but the point of contact. That is R1, x2 minus R2, x1, y, R1 minus R2, comma, comma. R1 y2 minus R2 y1 by R1 minus R2. Okay. We will substitute this. R1 x2 that is 15 into 11. 15 into 11 minus R2 x1. R2 x1 that is 5 into minus 11. 5 into minus 11 divided by R1 minus R2. 
15 minus 5 is 10. Right? Um, R1, Y2. So what is R1? 15 and Y2. 15 into minus 2. 15 into minus 2. Minus R2, Y1. R2, Y1. 5 into 2. 5 into 2 divided by R1 minus R2 is 10. So we calculate this. So 15 Lorenza is 165 plus 55 by 10, comma minus 30 minus 10 by 10. So we calculate this 165 plus 55 is it is we are getting 220 by 10, comma minus 40 by 10. So what is the point of contact we are getting? The point of contact is 22 comma minus 4. Right? So you can 0, 0 get cancelled, we will get 22. 0, 0 cancelled, we will get minus 4. So what is the point? What is the ECS we are getting? 22 comma minus 4. Now after getting ECS, what we do is we find out equation of direct common tangents. Okay? So first you note down this, then you okay. So we got the point of contact. Now we find out the equation of direct common tangent. So before finding this equation of direct common tangent, we have a, a one formula, the equation of pair of tangents. So what is the equation of pair of tangents? The equation of pair of tangents. We did this in the last exercise, 1D, the equation of pair of tangents to the circle S is equal to 0 is S1 square is equal to S into S11. So what is equation of pair of tangents? It is S1 square is equal to S into S11. So using this, we will find out the direct common tangents. So what is S1? S1 is nothing but a notation. So I will write down the notation. What is S1? It is x x1 plus y y1 plus g into x plus x1 plus f into y plus y1 plus c is equal to s is the equation of circle see you can take either the, from the given equations you can take the first equation of circle or second any one you can take it as s i am taking first equation so what is s it is x square plus y square plus 22x minus 4y minus 100. Okay, I substituted s. Next is s11. s11 notation I'll write down. s11 is x1 square plus y1 square plus 2gx1 plus 2fy1 plus c. Okay, we substituted the formula. s1 square is equal to s into s1. So what is x1, y1? x1, y1 is nothing but the point of contact that is ECS 22 comma minus 4. I will substitute instead of x1, y1 and GFC values we have to take from the equation of circle which we took as s. Which one we took as s? First one. So from the first equation only you have to take GFC values. Okay. Now we will substitute. So x into x1. What is x1? x1 is 22 plus y into y1, y1 is minus 4 and g value from the equation of circle which we took is 11 so g value is 11 plus 11 into x plus x1 x plus x1 and what is f value? it is minus 2 into y plus y1 so what is y1? y1 is minus 4 and what is c? it is minus 100 GFC values we are taking from the first equation x1 y1 is 22 comma minus 4 whole square is equal to this equation as it is it is x square plus y square plus 22x minus 4y minus 100 into now I will substitute x1 y1 as 22 comma minus 4 so what is x1 it is 22 22 square is 484 so I am writing 484 plus 16 y1 square minus 4 square is 16 what is 2g 2g is 22 okay i'll write 22 into x1 what is x1 22 plus 2f is 
minus 4. So I'll write minus 4 into y1 is minus 4 plus what is c value? Minus 100. So I should write minus 100. And so put it in a bracket. Now we'll simplify this. So that is so we get 22x minus 4y plus 11x plus 22 into 11. We get 242. Okay, 11 twos are 22, 2, 22 plus 2, 22. Minus 2y plus 8 minus 100 whole square is equal to x square plus y square plus 22x minus 4y minus 100 into we'll simplify this this is 484 okay we'll write one more step so 484 plus 16 22 into 22 is 484 right plus 16 minus 100 so we just multiply after that this will simplify 22x plus 11x it is 33x then y terms minus 4y minus 2y is minus 6y right then then after that the numbers 242 plus 8 is 250 250 minus 100 is 150 plus 150 whole square is equal to is equal to the equation of circle x square plus y square plus 22x minus 4y minus 100 then after that we calculate these values 484 plus 16 is 500 so this is 500 this is also 500 500 plus 500 is 1000 1000 minus 100 is 900 so just we need to write here 900 okay after that, 33x minus 6y plus 150. We can take something common here. What is the common term here is? We can take 3 common. See, if I take 3 common, after taking 3 common, we need to square because we have whole square. So, after taking 3 common, I am squaring. I am taking 3 common and 3 square is 9. Okay, 9. I am taking 3 common. 3 eleven are, 3 twos are, then 3 fifties are 150. 3 fifties are 150. Okay. Is equal to. So what I did this 900 and write first. 900 into x square plus y square plus 22x minus 4y minus 100. Okay. After this what I do. I can cancel this. 9 ones are 9. And 9 goes 100 times. Okay. Now after that what we have to do is we need to expand this. We need to expand this 11x minus 2y plus 50 whole square. Okay. So this expansion I will show. Okay. So 11x minus 2y plus 50 whole square is equal to 100 into x square plus y square plus 22x minus 4y minus 100. We will expand this. So okay, I will expand it here. Uh, it is 121x square a plus b plus c e whole square a square plus b square plus c square 50 square is 2500 see a square plus b square plus c square and then 2ab that is i put minus sign actually it is plus 2ab but b term is negative so minus so plus 2ab 2 11s are 22 22 2s are 44 xy see a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab 2's are 4, 4 11's are 44x right? plus 2ab actually it is plus 2bc but b is negative so I, I should put minus sign 2bc 2's are 4, 4 into 50 is 200 200 yi 2ab this is 2ab 2bc then 2ca 2 into 50 100 100 into 11 is 1100x that is plus 1100x see what is a plus b plus c e whole square it is a square 
plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. So that only I am writing a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2c. But in between we have negative signs because the b term is negative. Wherever you are using the b term put minus sign. So we kept the minus sign. We got it. is equal to. Now this whole thing we have to multiply with 100. So that is nothing but 100 x squared. 100 x squared plus 100 y squared. Then 100 into 22 is 2200 x. 2200 x. 2200 x. Minus 400 y. Minus 400 y. Okay. Minus 400 y. And minus 100 into 100 is 10,000. Minus 10,000. So, we multiply this. Now, what we do is, we'll simplify this. So, now we'll continue this. This is the simplification, right? So, 121x square minus 100x square. That is 21x square. 21x square. Then after that, xy terms we check, minus 44xy. So throughout this equation, we have only one xy term. So that I write it as minus 44xy. Then y square terms. So y square term, what we have is, so this is 4y square. Okay? So 4y square, 4y square, minus 100y square. So it is minus 96y square then after that x terms we have 100x on left side on the other side we have 2200 so 100x minus 2200 is it's clearly minus 2100x minus 2100x then y terms we have to change minus 200y plus 400 so that is plus 200y then after that we need a constants 2500 the 10000 we transpose on the other side will become plus 10000 2500 plus 10000 it is 12500 is equal to 0 see we got the pair of tangents okay now this pair of tangents will simplify as two individual tangents that means see we got a pair of tangents that means see, this is a circle this is a circle this one is a pair of tangents. So what is this pair of tangents equation is 21x square minus 44x square minus 96y square 200x to this uh, 200y and 12,000 is pair of tangents. Now what we do is we will factorize this and we will make two individual tangents. To factorize this what we do we only consider the second degree parts. So what are the second degree parts we have? It is 21x square minus 44x square and minus 96 y square we take. First you take only the second degree part and we will factorize this. So when we factorize what you have to do? You have to do 21 into 96. So you do 21 into 96. We get 2016. So I am factorizing this. So I'm getting 20 minus 2016. So we we'll factorize this 2016. Okay, after factorizing, we'll split the middle term such that if you add, you should get minus 44. If you multiply, you should get 2016. So I'll factorize this. So 2 tens are or 2 hundreds are 200 and 2 eights are then 2 fifteens are 2 fours are 2 twenty fives are 2 twos are then 2 twelves are 24. 2 6s are then 2 6s are 12, 2 3s are then 7 9s are then 3 3s are. This 3s are. So these are the factors we got now. Now we will regroup those factors and we try to get this 44. Okay, so it is uh, 2 2s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 3 3s are 9. Okay, so 2 2s are 4, 4 2s are 8. 8 9s are what is 8 9s are we have 72 just see here only these terms i am multiplying 2s are 4 4s are 8 
and 3 3s are 9. 8 9s are 17. And the remaining terms, 2 2s are 4, 4 7s are 28. Now what is 72 minus 28? 72 minus 28 is 44. 72 minus 28 is 44. So now what I do is I will write this. 21 x squared I will write. Then minus 72 x y plus 28 x y minus 96 y square is equal to 0. Okay. After this what we do? We have to take common. So what we can take common in 21 x square and 72 x y? Um, take 7 3s are Suppose if you take us Actually 21 we know yeah, So we have to take common in the first two terms 7 No, we take 3 common. If you take 3x common, 3 7s are 21. 7x minus 3. I am getting 7x minus, sorry, 24y. 7x minus 24. Then after that, from the next to 2 terms, I have to take common. 28xy and 96y squared. Okay, so, so 28xy and 96y squared, I think we can take. 4y common plus 4y common 4 sevens are then 4 24s are no doubt is, is equal to 0 7x minus 24y is equal to 0 so after factorization we got 7x minus 24y into 3x plus 4y is equal to 0 okay so here the important thing is we have a second degree equation Okay, in the second degree equation, we have first degree terms also. But we only factorize, we only factorize the second degree terms. We left the first degree terms. Now, this pair of tangents is not passing through origin. It is passing through some other point that is 22 comma minus 4. So, what I do is, what, what I wanted to tell is, 7x minus 24, we, need, we have also some constant which we didn't get. 3x plus 4y, some constant is there, but we didn't get it. Why we didn't get? We took only the second degree terms. That's why we are not getting the constants. To get the constants, what we have to do is, we assume as 7x minus 24y, some constant I will assume as k. In the first case, we will get a constant. And in the second case also, we will get a constant. Those constants, I am assuming as k and l. See, why we didn't get the constants? Because we took only x square, x y and y square terms. These terms we need to because to factorize we took only second degree terms. Now when I include this k and l, now I equate this to, I equate this to a complete equation. So what is a complete equation? 21 x square minus 44 x y then minus 96 y square after that minus 200x then 2100x plus 200y plus 200y plus 12500 now we equate this now what i do we we'll compare them now we we'll find out k and l values okay so we'll continue uh, so now what we do here is we are equating to the constants, right? Now here first I write uh, See actually I have to equate the coefficients. I'll show this in two cases. The first one what we have is 7x minus 24y plus k and 3x plus 4y plus L. See, now what I do is, in the first case, I try to equate the x coefficients. That means, see, if I multiply these two, in this I will get x coefficient and y coefficient. No doubt x square, y square also will get. So now, I will equate the x coefficient. That means, see, suppose, if 3x, if I multiply to this, I will get x coefficient. And, if 7x is to be multiplied this constant 
then I'll get x coefficient. Okay. So in these two cases, we'll get x coefficient. See, what you do is very simple. What you can remember, k you multiply to the x term, l you multiply to the x term. That's all. Only these two you check. So we get the quotients of x. Remaining we don't get x quotient. We we'll get x square, y square, and all. Why I'm getting x quotient and y quotient to get the values of k and l. So now in this case, what are the x quotients we are going to get? The x quotients in this case are c. First, if I multiply these two, the x quotient in this case is 3k, right? This 3k, then after 3k, 7l plus 7m is equal to what is the x quotient on the other side? On the other side, the x quotient is minus 700. So I write minus 700, right? Now, now we need y quotient. So what I will do is again I will repeat this. 7x minus 24y plus k into 3x plus 4y plus l. Now, constants I will multiply to y terms. That means 4y I will multiply to k and minus 24y I will multiply to l. Now, what are the coefficients of y? I will write it here. So, the coefficients of y will be, suppose first we let x term, k terms. So, here if I multiply these two, I will get y coefficient as 4k. See, 4y into k, 4k y. So, the y coefficient is 4k. So, here I will write 4k. Then, then l. l is to be multiplied 24. So, I will get minus 24l as y coefficient is equal to what is y coefficient on the other side it is 200 so i'll write 200 you understood this here first we need the coefficients of x the first case is coefficients of x how you remember is l you multiply to x and write the coefficient and again k you multiply to x and write the x coefficient and the second case, the same equations you repeat, k you multiply to the y coefficient, again l you multiply to y coefficient and y term and write only those coefficients. Right? Now what I will do, I will just solve these two equations so that we get the values of k and l and I will substitute back in these equations. Now these will be the required direct common terms. So now we will solve. So when I am solving what I will do is see, I will just, I will solve this by elimination. So this equation I will multiply with 4. 4 3s are 12, 4 7s are 28, 4 11s are 4400 and this I will multiply with 3, 3 4s are 12, okay and 24 3s are is 72, then we are multiplying with uh, 3, right, so 3 2s are 600, okay, now we will subtract. So if I subtract plus 12k minus 12k cancel. Okay. Now 28l and 72l. If you add, you will get 100 is equal to minus 4400 minus 600 is this 5000. So now we can find out the value of L. So what is L is equal to? So what is L is equal to? L is equal to see this is minus right minus five thousand. So L is equal to minus five thousand by hundred. So what is the value of L we are getting? It is minus fifteen. L is equal to we get minus fifteen. Two zeros you cancel in the denominator. The numerator L is minus fifteen. Now what I'll do is I'll just substitute L. Should this L in which equation you will substitute any one? I will substitute in this. So, what is this equation? It is 3k plus 7L. 3k plus 7L is equal to minus 1100. I will substitute in this equation. So, if I substitute now, what we get is 3 into this 3 into sorry, 3k as it is. 3k as it is plus 7 into minus 50 is equal to minus 
11 100 so we we'll simplify this 3k minus 350 is equal to minus 1100 so 3k is equal to minus 1100 plus 350 so 3k is equal to minus 1100 plus 350 is nothing but it is minus 750 so we get the value of k so what is k is equal to k is equal to minus 250 and what is k value already minus 250 here l value is minus 5100 to minus 50 minus 50 we substituted minus 350 plus 350 so because we have minus 700 in the first equation we get minus 2 now after getting minus 250 what i do i substitute back this k and l values in this equations okay so therefore what are the direct common tangents we get the direct common tangents are 7x minus 24y plus k what is k minus 250 is equal to 0 and what is the next equation we have 3x plus 4y 3x plus 4y plus l 3x plus 4y plus l so what is l value we have minus 15 is equal to 0 okay so 7x minus 24y plus k so what is k minus 250 substituted then 3x plus 4y plus l what is l value minus 50 is equal to 0 so these two are the required direct common tangents okay this problem is completed this is very very important problem though the problem is very lengthy it will come for the exam please prepare this okay